I got that eight assists, bro. And with the, without without that slipping shit, I could have thirteen assists, bro. But every pass I saw, the ball stood out my hand. It was terrible. It was outrageous. Like they should have, they should allow you to switch balls because of that. They're like, yo, we can't. We just we just gonna wipe this one off. It's still gonna be slippery. One more play down, it's gonna. Mm. It gets frustrated, but you gotta play through it though. We let it frustrate us. We get a check. Okay, congratulations on your win, Coach. You want to talk about what you thought were the important things of the game? Yeah, so we we talked about kind of before the game, just limiting uh, rebounding opportunities for them. Um, you know, we don't really necessarily have a lot of bigs, but we got a lot of big guards. So with that being said, you know. Our guards did a great job rebounding. We did a great job of kind of keeping them off the glass towards the end of the game. Um, the other thing that we talked about was just a lot of share the ball. A tournament like this, if you try to go and get your own, it's not going to work out. So, you know, we had a lot of runs where we were sharing the ball and playing great. Uh, defensively, we did great. I think Todd Ridley took like five, four or five charges. Um, and that, that's huge. That's extra possessions for us. And not only that, but it, it just builds the energy in the game. So, um, Third year in, third first round win. So we're excited for uh, tomorrow. Can you talk about having guys on your team that are veterans in this tournament and who have played together? Yeah, so, so this year's roster is kind of is pretty unique where you know we bring back AJ who played last year, Mike Poole who played with Team Fancy last year, and then Stevie who's been with us the past three years. Um, but then you look at guys like Ricky McGill, Zach Lewis, uh, Kedar, and, and, and Obi, and Taj. I mean, Taj was coaching the past two years, but first year playing. You know, it's kind of it's 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 kind of an interesting blend of getting those guys who are veterans to to mesh in with the new guys and show them the ropes in a tournament like this because you know it is single elimination. So some guys, if you're not ready for it, you go home, and that's the beauty of the tournament. And you know, the three guys that we have here at the table did a great job in terms of you know leading us and and, and kind of making sure that we save the course. Steve. And then the other guys, can you talk about the Elon ending and what that's like to be in uh, that situation? Yeah, it's tough. It's it's a uh, it's definitely a mental thing. Uh, it could, it's physical too. Obviously, you're fatigued at the end of the game, but uh, it's a mental thing because you want to get it over quick. So you try to find a balance between getting it over quick but not rushing and not taking quick shots. And you know, we fell into that. I fell into uh, taking a couple quick shots or trying to even make a pass though, but that was too quick and. Just, but you want to get it over with, you know. So it's just you have to find a balance with uh, doing what you were doing, doing what got you to lead, and just finishing the game off, you know, in that way, and not trying to uh, do things that you weren't doing uh, during the first three quarters. It's an adjustment, you know. You play twelve months of one style of basketball, and you come here for a week or two, and you have to last four minutes clock off, and you're trying to still score. When maybe like we were up thirteen at the time, and it's like. We don't have to score. We just need stops. But at the end, you still have to score, get a target score. So it's kind of like an adjustment to the, to figure out which shots, like Steve said, which shots to take and when to take it, and still have to get stops at the end of the day, and um, just stay together and figure out what's the best shots and the best way to, to close out the eight points. AJ, you had a, a good pass, Edwards, making 15 all, and yet got past a slow start, and you found your rhythm in the second half, just like you did at Iona. Uh, what did it take to get your rhythm going in the second half? I mean, I, did, I didn't feel like it was necessarily trying to get my rhythm going. It's just like, look who's inside of me, you know, look who I'm playing with. So, like, at the end of the day, I'm, I can play off of Steve. You know, Steve had 16, 17 in the first half. Mike Poole was, you know, everything. You know, Mike Poole just had 50 at Dyke when I did. I just playing with him. So, I mean, it's just it's easy to play with those guys. So, I, I play off of them. So, it's not necessarily, I understand what you're saying, maybe get it going scoring-wise, but I just try to, you know, stay consistent throughout the game and then, they give me the look like, yo, let's go, and then that's when I'm, I'm going. So same thing, I, I own a play with David Lowry, Jordan Washington. I can, this, this, the uh, names go on, but, you know, it's just easy. You know, Sean Armand, Scott's not here, but it's the same thing, you know. I just play off those guys, and I just try to get it going. Can I ask Steve, you're playing basically three generations of Iona players. <laughs> yeah. Time. What is it like for you? You've seen Iona basketball for 20 mm -hmm. years, seeing the guy, play, being able to play with these guys who played you know, the recent team. Strange. You feel old. <laughs> you feel real old, but I love it. You know, I love it, and uh, I just try to keep up with these guys. They know that what I can do. They they trust me. You know, these these are guys that didn't necessarily see me play. You know what I'm saying? But they they, they trust me. They know what I can do. They know uh, my my history, my legacy, and they and they put that trust in. And I was able to watch these guys play, so I know what they can do, 
and I trust him as well. So it's fun, you know, you, you don't you don't feel old, you know, you go out there and you're just playing with your bros, you're playing with your brothers and we're a family. So it, it's exciting and I love it. Mike, just uh, having you back, you came from Rutgers, had a great year with Iona, been playing. What did you feel like you really were making a lot of turnaround jump shots today? Uh, yeah, I mean, when college ended, I had to uh, figure out how to be the best professional basketball player I could be. So I, I switched my game around. I've been in the gym a lot since then. Um, and I worked on being a big guard. So I mm -hmm. take pride in being a big guard. And if a guy is smaller than me, I like to like to post up and just get to a spot and, like, and raise up. And um, I've been working on that. And uh, these guys, like you say, we all trust each other. So today it was just about trust and being confident and shooting the shots that we know we can make. Any, any of the guys, you know, you played in Iona, big days playing overseas. What is it like to come back to New York and play play, play with, uh, you know, with the, uh, your former teammates again? It's a blessing. You know, I mean, I'm thankful that we're all still healthy. I thank God that we all still can play the game and stuff like that. I was just asking Steve the other day, like, Bro, how you still do it? Like, you still, you know, move like you 20-something years old, you know? So, how you still do it? And he had a long conversation, so I just eat eat that up, you know, with everything he's saying and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's just, it's just great, you know, just, like I said, it's, just, I mean, it's a blessing to be able to, you know, be on the court and still have uh, relationships with these guys. John, any keys in your in coaching <coughs> these guys? You know, you've got a head coaching experience this year, but you were coaching some really good players out there today. What, what was your, how are you handling it? Yeah, no, it's, it's, you know, I think with the guys being so familiar with each other and playing in college, you know, I, I kind of sometimes take a step back and let them kind of go over it and so on and so forth. You know, I just hopefully put the guys uh, in the best positions to win, put the best five guys on the court that mesh and, and, and create runs and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm not really doing much. I'm just kind of bringing energy as much as I can. And, and these guys are out there playing. I mean, they know how to play the game. They don't need me to tell them. Um, you know, so I think that it's not so much that I'm doing uh, a lot of X's and O's stuff. It's more, hey, if you need one, let me know. We'll get you out quick and, and get you right back in and, and just trusting them. Like, I mean, that, that's, the, that's the biggest thing is in a tournament like this, you've got to trust your teammates. You've got to trust the guys that you're around because if not, it's, it can all go downhill real fast. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of them that are really out there doing it. John, is there a thought about how you put this team together, staying in touch with the players over the year and, and being able to coordinate that they're able to play in this? Yeah, so, I mean, I, I think after last year's game, um, we weren't sure if we were even going to be back this year. Um, it, it really kind of hit, let's say, if, if it started in March, you know, the first weekend of May. I reached out to the guys and I reached out to Stevie and Taj and, and Ricky McGill and Zach Lewis and guys like that and, and Poole and AJ and kind of said, hey, we're making another run at it. I think it'll be good. Let, let's get into it. Um, and a lot of the guys are receptive. You know, we added a couple late additions. AJ was late to the roster, um, but, you know, he, he had always shown interest in playing. Uh, Obi Oleka was, was late and he, he, he provided us, you know, a great, a great energy and, and somebody that can be a high flyer, as we saw in the past from Stevie to, to, to Obi for the alley-oop, and, and even Kidar. I mean, he's a guy that can play both the big and the guard position for us and, you know, really brought a ton of energy defensively and, and you know, really kind of held his own on the offensive end as well. And, and for us, you know, that's, that's why we do it. This is why we come back every year. It's a great tournament. And, you know, kind of at the shoot around this morning, it's great having Stevie talk to the Ricky McGills and the Zach Lewis's guys that are just starting their pro careers and he can give them some guidance and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's more beneficial in terms of, you know, just veterans and guys like these showing the new guys the ropes as, as so much as it is, you know, us going out there and, and playing games. So. Hey, last year Scott Machado was <coughs> on the team, and this year we saw him playing for the Lakers at the end of the season. What does it mean for you guys that one of your Iona players made the Lakers made the NBA? Yeah, I think it's not it's not only great for the TPT tournament, right? That you can you can boast that you have guys who played in the tournament that made an NBA roster, um, but it's it just shows is, is how hard he worked and everything like that, and and for. For these guys, I mean, you know, he, he was in the NBA, and it's easy for us in terms of going out and maybe getting some recruits that we may need to get last minute where we can say, hey, we had a guy playing the NBA last year. It's not like this is just you're out here playing, going up and down. You have a real opportunity to showcase your talents. I mean, this is on ESPN. Everybody in the world watches. It's the only basketball that's going on right now. So it's an opportunity 
for some of these younger guys and guys who are at the table to maybe earn that next contract or to maybe get an opportunity that you know they may not have gotten. So it's it's a great feeling that you know Scott was able to take advantage of that, and you know hopefully we continue to make a run in this tournament and guys like uh, who are sitting at the table have an opportunity <coughs> just like Scott. Guys, congratulations! Thanks. Appreciate for it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.